Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure some of you guys might be aware, last night Rockstar Games dropped a brand new update into the game, which did include a bunch of new content. I've already made a video going into full detail on everything Rockstar Games have included with yesterday's update. So if I do remember, I will leave a link to that video down low in the description. However, as I did mention in that video, Rockstar Games have gone ahead and added some new events into the game, which can and unlock some rare clothing items now in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys all of the locations for the brand new stash houses and the store robberies i'm also going to give you guys a bit more information on these new events so you're fully clued up and you can come online straight away today and go ahead and unlock these items without any stress so as always if you guys do appreciate the video all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and then turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, and getting into the brand new stash houses. Now you guys can go ahead and unlock three different items this week by going ahead and raiding these new stash houses. Firstly, by raiding one stash house, you're gonna unlock this camo roses slab cap. If you guys are able to rob stash houses for five days, you're gonna unlock this purple x-ray emissive mask. And if you guys are able to rob them on 10 different days, you're gonna unlock this red LC dragon revere collar shirt. Now these stash houses will only appear once every single day. So do take note of that for you guys that are wondering how often they will spawn in. You guys have to make sure that you do log on daily in order to go ahead and like I said, complete these challenges to unlock these rare clothing items. Now here on screen are all of the locations for the stash houses that you guys can expect to see them pop up on your map over the next two weeks or so. So as you guys can see on screen, there is quite a few different locations. And of course, once you guys arrive at one of these locations, all you have to do is kick the door in, take out a few enemies, take a look around the area for a little code, enter it into the safe, and then go ahead and leave the stash houses. Now, as far as the rewards that you guys will receive for raiding these stash houses, if you guys own an MC business, it's gonna completely refill one of your MC businesses, which typically would cost you guys 75K. So it's a pretty good idea to go ahead and raid these as they take only a couple minutes to do. Now, now, if you guys don't own an MC business, it's going to reward you guys with around $30,000, which once again isn't too bad for something that only takes one or two minutes to complete. Now, I'll also leave a link down low in the description to a map showing you guys all of the locations of these stash houses. Like I said, if you guys are wanting to know exactly all of the locations to go ahead and unlock the rare items over the next two weeks. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, the stash houses aren't the only new event Rockstar Games have added into free roam. They've also added a new event where you guys can basically stop a store robbery. Now, as far as the locations of where these store robberies will be taking place, they're extremely easy to remember as they will only take place at all of the convenience stores. So you guys can simply press start or just look at this map on screen and you guys can see on screen where they will be taking place. If you guys are having trouble spawning this event in, maybe try and hang around an area where there's three or four convenience stores in a close area so you can just drive in between them. But once you guys do come across this event, you will notice a red bleep will just show up on the convenience store. From here, you'll have to go ahead, chase the robber down, kill him as he'll drop a bag of money You'll have two options. You can either go ahead and return the bag of money back to the convenience store, which will reward you guys with $20,000 and two and a half thousand RP, or you can go ahead and keep the money for yourself. You will have a two minute timer that you've got to wait out. However, once that two minute timer waits out, you will get a 5K more for not returning it. So 25K, however, you guys will receive no RP. Now, unfortunately, you guys won't be unlocking any rare clothing items for stopping these store robberies. So if you guys are wanting to go ahead and do them, they are just purely to make some quick money very, very quickly. However, that is going to do it for me, guys. As always, if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. 
Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!